okay uh, hi everyone we are doing experiment number 6 uh, controlled half wave and full wave rectifier using rc triggering circuit uh, so basically we'll be triggering the entire circuit that is through firing angle alpha with a resistor or uh, load resistor to be exact so this is the circuit okay and you make sure that you get these uh, these junctions properly and make sure that you have the polarities of the diodes and the capacitor the lengthy one yeah. is positive and the shorter, shorter one is the negative and the scr also uh, so in scr usually it is labeled as cathode anode and then gate k a g k a n g okay and this is a transformer for that to use this so for the transformer we've connected here to 12 and then zero you you shouldn't connect 12 to 12 okay so yeah if you, if you can zoom in here so this is k this is a and this is g hmm. okay so now once you've rigged up this circuit you will be connecting the drb you, you will be connecting the drb across resistor r1 and across capacitor okay so we'll be using this drb to change the firing angle and then look at the output hey yaar off hey yaar then off maadbeda dsr is connected to do one switch this off i connect maadro ho open nimsha tarko okay the dso is connected to the load which is this rl yes okay uh, so this is the typical output which you can get so if i'll reset you will see this here you get a proper wave so this is the output which you get here so by varying the drb you you will see a change in the output here okay so we have pressed measure and then we have set it to time so using this cursor we uh, will be arranging these so as to measure the time period okay uh, it's not required as of now uh, you, if you want you may use it and then to get a clear waveform press acquire acquire and then in the mode press function 1 until you get sample you get a clear uh, single line uh, waveform <laughs> Okay, so now we have, we have increased the scale. Okay. Okay, now make sure it is uh, five milliseconds so that it's one unit. Yeah. Uh, here, in each box, each division is eighteen degrees, and then so one whole box is ten five into eighteen. Five divisions into eighteen, 18 is one box. One box. Okay, and then uh, you have to vary the show the output. Okay, vary the DRV, vary the resistance so that the alpha value will be varied. And you get close. So, here it is at 18 degrees. So, you see that one of the boxes is overlapped by the wave. So, it means that we are now at 18 degrees. Okay, make it. Okay, increase the uh, resistance value. Okay, now it's See, at now it's moved to 36 degrees. 18 into 236. We are varying this 100. Uh, where is it? We, we started with varying once. We started with varying once. So, the, we got this for 18 and then we got in 100s for 36. Mm -hmm. So, similarly, you can check as to uh, which uh, uh, this thing will correspond to the corresponding this. Uh, alpha value. Okay. okay. If that is the maximum, then uh, you can leave it. Okay, in the tabular column, you need to see here again. It's very simple. You have alpha in degrees, which you have varied through the DRV. You shouldn't write the resistance. You have to write the angle. That is 0, 18, 36, 54, 72, and so on. So this is the practical voltage which you, which you get, which you have to measure through a voltmeter. That is DMM. DMM, and then you have to calculate the theoretical value okay. you need to put uh, you know put the dmm to uh, dc right yeah DC mode and then and make then. sure you put the dmm to dc mode while measuring everything so this 
concludes for half wave rectifier if you can see here below you have the uh, relevant formula just plug in the values and make sure that you get values which are similar to the ones with practical ones okay. uh, and then uh, for full wave rectifier it's the same uh, procedure only the circuit is different and uh, instead of uh, you know uh, half wave dc ripples you get full wave dc ripples and uh, yeah the procedure is same